Hello and welcome to part three of how to make a horror film. So let's look at the scene that I've been working on. I lift doors open. Our character walks out. So, so probably saying, um, can you recreate that? Take me through it. So that's what I'll do now. So let's look at our camera. So our camera is, um, I've set it at super 35 with the squeeze factor all the way 2.0. Essentially I'm, I'm um, making an anamorphic lens and if we go down to crop settings 2.39 and that gives us the uh, wide aspect ratio of the camera and the bokeh um, it just makes it look so cinematic it's crazy so that's our camera that we've set up so let's set up a post process volume so go into our volumes, post process, which I've already done. And we want to search for bright, which gives us these values. Put them on one. Obviously we can mess around with these. this basically locks our exposure 0.5 so when the camera goes in and out of uh, light to dark um, it doesn't do any auto exposure and then you need to go to unbound and infinity extent and then check that box so essentially it's it's doing the whole scene um, not just a small box when you first do it, it'll just be a small box and it'll only change um, the light within a small box so if you click that it'll do the whole scene so that's that sorted so let's go back and have a look at our scene again Okay, that looks good. And just save that out. So in the in my process, this, the thing I like to do is do a scene, render it out, and then put it in the editor and slowly build up the scene as I'm going. So if if you look at this scene, potentially my next shot is going to be a wide shot that's further down the car park. So I'll render this one out, put it in the editor, and then come back and do the wide shot and that's the process for me you've got to create the scene i've obviously got it in my mind what the scene's going to look like but do a camera move make sure it works stick it in the edit and then come back and do the next shot and slowly build as you go it's a longer process but still i just think you get a better understanding of the scene what works and what doesn't work okay let's go to the clip put some scary music on it and see what it looks like Okay, we're back in Unreal, um, and now we need our next shot, which is our wide shot. Um, which, and you know, I always try and keep the camera moving um, nice and slow. Uh, a reveal, slowly revealing the location and the character, and just building that kind of peril. The music's going to help, sound effects are going to help. 
and then we'll probably have a POV of some kind so we can actually then reveal the whole location maybe there where she points the torch down the center of the room let's go to the clip again and see what it looks like Okay, we're back in Unreal and we've taken the camera in closer, reposition it and we've gone from the wide shot to the close up. Now whether that would work in the edit we'll find out. We can edit on a movement where she moves the torch and we can also Essentially, move the camera, so I'll have to see, see how I feel. Okay, probably that's a long enough clip where we could potentially move the camera around. Okay, so we'll do that. We will. Hit the transition, hit a keyframe, take it to the end of the clip, and move the camera. I'll have to get rid of him out of the scene. Okay, good, he's gone. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to do some cleanup as well. Slow movement. There you go to halfway through the clip. the camera back halfway through the clip move the camera again Just keep building the scene. And now let's reveal more of the location. Yep, that was good. So I think what we'll do also is we will hit the focus there, make sure that's good. Uh, on our camera. Okay. And then go to our next.
keyframe. Take that one. Our next keyframe. Take that one. Our next keyframe now. We want to there. Okay. So just before she turns. A yeah, keyframe there, and then we'll reveal the location. Bring the focus back onto the location. Okay, camera move. We might have to put a few, maybe a light above. And there you go. And we have the reveal. Okay, so I'll probably put a light above um, and then just render that one out. there you go that's the kind of opening scene to the short that I'm going to be making and you just continue this process forward think about your shots think about what the audience might want to see what they want to learn what you want to give them because you don't always want to give them all the information at once this is going to be a scary horror short of things lurking in the dark lights going out and our character running for a life towards the lift at the other end of the uh, car park so you've already seen the lift she's come out of the camera's turned and now you can see the situation she's in uh, once she gets to the middle of the car park then the um, the lights will start going out behind her and she'll have to run to the other lift so that's the scene that's hopefully what I'm going to be uh, releasing uh, soon after I finished it so um, yeah hope you like this uh, I hope that you subscribe uh, so you can watch the horror when I finally finish it and thanks for watching. Bye.